know, having fun. I love the city. I like great people. So, yeah. Right, some people come up to you out in public and, and they talk to you. What do they say? What do they ask you? Uh, really just thanks for coming. <laughs> so, uh, you know, get a good laugh out of it. And, you know, just say thank you. I'm happy to be here. Obviously, you have family ties here, but, uh, you know, highest ranked recruit to, to come to Nebraska with the history that Nebraska's had here in basketball. Uh, why do it? Uh, really just uh, play for a coach, you know, well, coaches that uh, coach at the highest level, uh, some that played at the highest level, and really the system that we, um, did, like, the play style that we play. And, you know, it's a, it's a great uh, organization, hopefully. You know, I haven't witnessed the fan base yet. Well, in football, of course, I have. It's amazing. So hopefully that translates to the basketball court. But what I've heard, you know, it's, it's top of mind. Is there some appeal to you to be a guy that can be part of the turnaround here? Yes, sir. Well, what would, as in that, would you mean? As in bring success to Nebraska. Yes, sir. That's, you know, that, that was one of the main reasons that I came, you know, hopefully, you know, bring new swagger uh, culture to, you know, the basketball program. So, yes, sir. What's the buzz around the locker room? You guys, we've heard it a couple times that you guys are sick of playing against each other. Yeah. How excited are you guys to get out there and yeah. play somebody else? Yeah, so we're kind of sick of beating up on each other a little yeah. bit, but uh, we're super excited. Uh, Wednesday, you know, come out, have fun, compete. You know, we've worked for it all summer um, until now, so we just we just ready to get out there and compete. Any nerves at all or anxiousness or just ready to play? I'm, uh, nah, i just ready to play. Do you get nervous before games? Do you have like a pregame ritual or anything like that? Uh, usually, just probably watch a movie before the game. Uh, you know, soothe myself, and yeah, that's really it. Is there a particular movie that you go back to? Mm, just, okay. I'm a Marvel guy, so okay. whatever. Okay. Get you ready to go. What do you think's developed most since arriving in Nebraska in your game? Um, probably just you know, I would say playmaking ability and IQ for the game. Uh, you know, since I've been here, you know. I've learned learned a lot of new, you know, schemes. Uh, you know how to move without the ball, play uh, play with the ball in my hands, and you know, defensively, uh, you know, different rotations and you know, spots to be on the floor. When you're going through the process of deciding what you're going to do, what what did your brother tell you about this place? Uh, it's amazing. You know, uh, win or lose, you know, the whole everybody's behind you, um, and yeah, just that's that really. How would you characterize the play style um, that you want to establish, identity you guys want to establish this year? How do you fit into that? Uh, you know, uh, pace and space. You know, as we, you know, we preach it all the time. Uh, play fast, play together, uh, and you know, get up and down. So you know, I feel like you know my play style and the, everybody else here, uh, we fit. We fit that. Get to rein yourself in as far as not trying to do too much? Uh, yes, sir. You know, just play the game. I, you know, I've always played. Uh, you know, do what got me here. Uh, just continue to, you know, work uh, and, you know, learn different things. At least when we interact with you on, on this level, you're very relaxed, chill dude. Yes, sir. Does that change when you get on the court? Is there a, do you got that snarl in you? Uh, yeah, I would say, you know, uh, you, ha you have to bring out a different uh, – type of intensity, uh, dog, uh, when, you know, you step out on the court and the ball starts, starts bouncing. So, yes. Sir. Yeah, that, that was one thing that uh, Coach Hoiberg was talking about, about how when you're aggressive, you're very, very, very good. Uh, is that come real natural to you? Uh, yes, sir. At times, uh, you know, still trying to, you know, feel myself out uh, into it. But, yes, sir, I've, I've been over the, you know, past uh, – you know, into current, I've been more aggressive. I mean, when a guy is coming into college, even though you have the accolades that you have coming in here, mm -hmm. uh, is there any, any any bit of intimidation factor a guy has to get over? Uh, no, no, sir. I wouldn't say. Okay. That. Uh, really, just you know, being able to take coaching uh, on a daily. That I would say that's about it. Fred mentioned that after the scrimmage last week, he asked you guys to come back because he was he wasn't happy with some of the things that went down during the scrimmage. What right. what did what needed to change from the first session to the second? Uh, just intensity and energy. Uh, you know, I feel like we didn't we didn't bring it in uh, that morning, so we came back had a real good uh, afternoon. Where does that show up? Like when you didn't when you don't bring it, where, where were you guys missing energy? Uh, I say it really starts in the locker room, just being able to build each other up. You know. Not everything's going to be perfect, but the way we build each other up, you know, 
uh, sets the tone at the, to, towards the end. For, for guys who might still be fighting for minutes, I know you guys don't have your rotations sorted out yet. Right. What are the separators that can that can separate guys who will play that will, from guys who won't play? Just being able to be a leader. Uh, whatever your role is, you have to you know lead in uh, different ways. So you know, just being able to play play your role uh, and whatever you have to, whatever you have to do to help the team succeed.